Should everyone know history? Absolutely. I think every single person on earth should at least know the history of their region or country so that they can appreciate what their ancestors sacrificed to build what they have today and honor their roots. On top of that, it would be commendable if individuals learned world's history too. In what ways can children learn history? In my opinion, there are indeed several ways that kids can learn this subject. Officially, they are required to take history lessons at school. What's more, it would be advisable for regular field trips to famous historic sites to be incorporated into the curriculum. Another method might be to let them watch historical documentaries during class or break time. What are the differences between learning history from books and from videos? There are stark differences between the two strategies. Personally, I feel like watching historical videos and films are considerably more effective in helping learners visualize the events of the past, hence making them better understand and remember. On the opposite side, history books tend to include an overwhelming amount of facts and figures, which is hard to digest, especially in short periods of time. Is it difficult to protect and preserve historic buildings? I believe it is relatively challenging to maintain the pristine conditions of ancient buildings because they are always exposed to the elements and naturally any piece of construction is going to deteriorate over time. Who should be responsible for protecting historic buildings? By and large, I think it should be the state's responsibility when it comes to the preservation of historic buildings and constructions, because not only are they part of the country's culture, but the government also has all the authority and resources needed at their disposal to do so.